This part, when you have un poco più agitato, after number, number 1920, let me say in this score, it says, yeah. Before number 20, you have a... You have, so, this beautiful mel melody um, that is made with a very, very uh, simple um, um, dialogue with the orchestra. Not full orchestra, just one instrument, another instrument. So in this case, you are really free to show more the, uh, um, uh, all the voices in, 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 uh, involved in, in the subject. So you can do more dynamics because nobody will cover you. You can show more your dy uh, how wide your dynamic is in a place like that. Um, and, and sometimes if we don't force the sound, the orchestra also, they listen to it and they go down and they just dialogue with you. Um, that's my problem. My, I see the problem that you see a top inside the phrase and then you let it, it down too much. You can have a movement inside your phrase. It's your interpretation. I don't want to change it. But you're doing a kind of uh, out of context. Keep uh -huh. from as answer for it with the same quality, with the same intensity. You do one intense and then no intense. It's like you don't care about it. Care about it. Please. You see, you don't yeah. care about it, you don't play well. <laughs> okay, one more, one more information. Let's go to C sharp major. Very nice. This is a typical Rachmaninoff part that needs to be really precise and pianissimo. This one... As fast as you can, uh, because this is probably the idea, pump, pump. not to show that you have technique, but to bring us to some kind of, uh, again, fufole idea. <laughs> That's something that you cannot catch. That's the idea. That people, oh, what's happening? You, I cannot catch it. And then, uh, uh, and then you put again. I think it can be more more clear. We need. Clear. I I could follow you because I'm a pianist.